So today we are talking about liquidity book and the future of AMMs. Uh, we'll take it slowly to let you understand fully the topic. So first of all, uh, Trader Joe uh, is the uh, is the number one Dex on Avalanche. But uh, let's start from the beginning. I'm David Defy. As introduced, the general manager of the Dex, Trader Joe is the one-stop shop solution on Avalanche. What does it mean a one-stop shop solution? First of all, we offer so many products that represent the 360 experience of every, uh, of every step in the lifetime of an on-chain trader and user of a blockchain. Uh, we are very excited of being part of the DeFi space. DeFi has shown to be strong, sustainable, transparent, and we are a happy member of the overall DeFi community. Uh, uh, as a DEX, we offer trading, of course, uh, so users can swap tokens with each other. You, a user on chain can swap one of their token with another token. Uh, these tokens are swaps that swap thanks to liquidity pools. Liquidity pools are based on uh, liquidity providers' tokens. Liquidity providers can put their tokens uh, available on a DEX in a form of a liquidity pool, and they are used for the end users to allow the function of swapping tokens on chain. Furthermore, on Trader Joe, we have the farms, which are beloved by our fellow DGEN users. Basically, a farm is a way for new projects to g gain visibility and exposure to the community by offering extra rewards to liquidity provider. It means that a new protocol that wants to list their token and is interested in improving their liquidity can support their liquidity, building their liquidity through an incentivized farm. Furthermore, uh, Trader Joe offers uh, modular staking, so we have S Joe, which gives extra fees in form of stable coins based on the trading volume activity on the DEX. We have V Joe, which offers boosted yield, and also Rocket Joe, which offers liquidity bootstrapping for protocols. Uh, that are uh, uh, just looking to initiate their li initial liquidity. We have also launched a NFT marketplace since many months now. Uh, the NFT marketplace is called Jopex, uh, quickly became the number one NFT marketplace on Avalanche. We are very focused on bringing key artists from any from any space into launching their collections on Avalanche through our Launchpad and uh, secondary market. And we also uh, have Banker Joe, which offer decentralized lending and borrowing uh, on chain. So fully transparent, over collateralized, uh, very easy to manage, all based on one unique user experience platform, which is the full Trader Joe experience. People love Trader Joe, not only because the community and the brand of Joe, but also because our focus on user experience uh, and appreciation for uh, uh, making DeFi simple while pleasurable for end users that are it, it's extremely important for us and it's also key to make DeFi accessible and grow amongst any crypto user. We need to make sure that users will feel comfortable, safe, and will have uh, pleasure in actually using on-chain products and that has been our key focus from the beginning in making sure that any user can uh, enjoy you being a DeFi player. Today we are going to talk about our next big thing. Liquidity Book is actually going to launch next week, so perfect timing uh, for presenting this. We have been working very hard in the past quarters. It has been our key product focus for the DEX, and we believe that this is going to unlock new capabilities for all Avalanche users and beyond, because Liquidity Book is a, a discretized liquidity 
AMM protocol uh, with Bean architecture. Let's make it simple. We are in the business of concentrated liquidity management. Uh, so to let you understand uh, how liquidity works in a concentrated liquidity protocol, let's look at the picture on the right side. When users uh, want, want to make a swap on a DEX that uses concentrated liquidity, they are making a change of token between the active bin. The active bin is the bin that represents the active market. So the price is set, but the bin that is, the, that is where, where the tokens are both on the color blue and the color red. So let's say we are talking about, for example, USDC Tether. It will be, the active bin will probably be $1, and the active bin will contain both USDC, then Tether, uh, while on the left side, you will have only one token, token, uh, token Epsilon, and to the right side, you will have token X. So with the, when, when the active pool does not have any more tokens uh, of one of the two sides, the active bin moves to the direction where the liquidity is still available for a swap. So, the, while we are in the active bin, uh, the trade happens with zero slippage. Uh, this means that you are getting a 1-1 one -one exchange as long as there are both tokens in the active bin, and when you are making a swap that could cross to the other bin, that's where the price is moving. Concentrated liquidity, however, in the current forms, has uh, some issues that we try to address with uh, our architecture. So, we have built it in a way that liquidity can stack vertically, but in a very customized way. The picture on the left represents, for example, different liquidity positions from various users. Uh, to the contrary of other uh, concentrated liquidity protocols, when liquidity is spread across a range, uh, we allow users to individually select the bins where they want to provide their liquidity in the size that they wish and in the bins that they wish. And within the same bin, it's a constant sum. The, this allows the markets to be extremely efficient, but also liquidity providers to have deep control over their liquidity. And for us, efficient liquidity management has been indeed the key from the beginning in how we designed the protocol. Uh, the liquidity positions are fungible, so they are represented by a ERC token. Uh, every single bin is represented by a receipt token, and, you, and liquidity providers can add, remove, or modify their position individually for each bin. So, if, for example, you are deployed across a range of 20 bins and you want to increase your size only on one bin while removing it from the other, you don't have to destroy your entire position, but you can just modify the bins that you want to actively manage in that single transaction while leaving all your other positions intact. Liquidity management will be, of course, simplified through our UX. Many protocols will create active liquidity position management solutions. Uh, but there are many ways users could deploy their liquidity in order to, uh, to optimize how they want to earn fees from each transaction. So they could choose to concentrate it, uh, they could choose to distribute it all uh, majorly in the active bin and then spread uh, across bins surrounding it. They could choose to be, for example, mostly across the same range of the active bin and a few bins close to it, just go all in uh, in the bin that is traded the most, or even try to catch more fees uh, by spreading liquidity further out. But the position management is completely customizable, so it's up to what your type of, uh, of strategy 
uh, how you will want to deploy it, but we will allow full control uh, over your position at the beginning and afterwards. We have one other uh, aspect of liquidity management is indeed the pricing, is, the, is indeed the, the transaction fees that you earn out of your liquidity position. So when you have your liquidity in a, in a bin, you will earn fees based on your percentage of liquidity in that said bin. But if you uh, distribute liquidity further away from the active one, you are exposing yourself in proportion to the distance to the active bin to impermanent loss. And this is why we have implemented, be, besides fixed uh, fees, a surge pricing model. The surge pricing model, it's a very interesting aspect because when volatility increases, which means when bins are crossed in a set period of time, we, we have a volatility accumulator that calculates the volatility in that set moment and will allow the liquidity provider to earn extra fees based on the volatility that is currently in the market and then the volatility will uh, steadily decrease over time, the volatility accumulator will decrease over time when volatility settles. This is unrelated from the active bin and is, per, and is based on how many bins are crossed in the process. For us, Liquidity Book is an extremely important product because it allows us to offer a new, uh, a new product uh, that is very requested today. St the stable swap market is increasingly necessary in this type of market conditions and we are going to deploy all stable coin markets as soon as we open liquidity book. That's going to be a key factor for the Avalanche blockchain and for the job brand to make sure that uh, capital can stay efficient, can stay on chain and allow users to enjoy, uh, to enjoy this type of transactions without having to expose themselves to any slippage. Uh, but for us also, it's very important as a message to let you know that we have been building extremely, hardly over the pa extremely hard over the past months, years. Uh, the job brand has been growing steadily and strongly. The community always uh, very appreciating of what we have done. We are always looking also for new talents that want to join the space, smart contract developers, uh, UX, and, and any type of uh, position that could fit. We love especially to uh, embark users from our community that want to take an active role with us and we are looking forward to having, having you use our decks in the next months and years to come. Thank you very much. Big it up for Davide. Awesome presentation, mate. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. We're all big fans of Trader Joe. One question which loads of people have asked me, is Joe actually real? <laughs> well, the, everyone is Joe. Oh, I love that answer. That's such a great answer. Yeah, well done. Really love the announcements. Can't wait to see what's happening. I know our community at Swissborg love trading Trader Joe and love using it. So, uh, so thanks very much, Davide. Really appreciate you coming. Big hand for Davide again from Trader Joe. Thanks so much, man. Thank you very much.